Bemidji area school buses carry hundreds of children to and from school daily. But what happens when a child's safety is put at risk? Reporter Catherine Silver spoke to a mother who says her son was dropped off at the wrong stop. A Bemidji mother is demanding stricter bus rules after her six-year-old was left alone in the cold for 45 minutes at the wrong bus stop. As soon as he saw me, he was happy. And then as soon as he got into the vehicle, he was very emotional. Um, more so in the fact, I think, due to he knew that something was wrong. Janelle Samuelson says a substitute bus driver dropped her son off in their driveway instead of at his daycare. It's very alarming. You know, as parents, we put our trust in this, the school district transportation that when our children are on the bus, they are going to be cared for like they are their own children. And whether it's a mistake or done on purpose, it still has the same effect. The boy's mother also says the bus driver didn't inform anyone of the situation and relied on her kindergartner to give directions. Our six-year-old knows directions. He knows how to get from A to B. He knows his way around Bemidji better than most people do. However, he's six. Whether it's a six-year-old or a 16-year-old, anybody that's on that bus should not be trusted as though they know where to go. The Bemidji School District and the state are now investigating the incident. We're looking into the situation. We want to find out for sure what happened and uh, if there are any reports that need to be filed. Uh, we have contacted the Minnesota Department of Education uh, Child Maltreatment uh, Unit and the Hubbard County Sheriff Department since this occurred in Hubbard County. Samuelson hopes the incident will encourage communication between school transportation administrators and parents and support bus safety. Definitely more stricter bus rules, um, better training with substitutes. I know that other school districts near here take any substitutes out for the first week, two weeks on the bus, and they go through specific route trainings. The superintendent says the driver has been taken off the route while the investigation is active. Katherine Silver, Lakeland News. Since the investigation is active, the superintendent could not comment on possible outcomes for the driver at this time. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.